how to choose the right partner. This is such an important decision, guys. You're gonna go throughout your entire life and the most important decision you will ever make is who you choose to spend your life with. Now, of course, you can choose someone and decide to break up and keep choosing the wrong people. I talk to these sort of people every day. Go through just a new relationship every year. Boom, 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 boom all the way through. Not very effective. Who you choose to spend your life with romantically affects every part of your life for your entire life. It's such an important decision, but how do you choose the right person? Well, there's a few things to this. So choosing the right person, you got to know yourself really well. That's, that's the big thing. A lot of people don't know themselves very well. They don't know what they're looking for. They don't know what they want. They don't know what they need. They haven't had a much of a think about it. So they just end up with any Joe Blow, just an, some average person, but they can't do the job. They're not your ideal partner. They're not even close. A few things to remember, your ideal partner is a beautiful mix of chemistry and compatibility and something special that I call X Factor. Some people could call this pheromones, other people could call this the soul, whatever you wanna call it, it's some sort of a magical X Factor which is hard to describe, okay? But it's just, you, you gotta be with that person. There's a few things to figure out what you're actually looking for. What are those things? Grab a notepad, grab a pen, write down your ideal partner list. Write down your ideal partner list. Some of the people I've coached over the years have had an ideal partner list that's six pages long. So you can be pretty specific with this thing. You can be very specific and I want you to be specific too, okay? Write down a very long list. How they make you feel? How good are they as a partner? What are, what are they doing in the relationship? What hobbies do they have? What do they look like? You can be really specific, okay? And the other thing I want you to remember, the number one thing right at the top of the list is their deep desire for you. The number one thing on the list that they really love you and they really wanna be with you and they think you're incredible. Now, the other thing I talk about all the time is can they do the job? Can they do the job? Now, what does that mean? Well, if you hire someone for the job and they can't do it, what happens? You get disappointed, you get angry at them, they're frustrated, they're trying their best, but they can't meet the bare minimum requirements. You hire the wrong person for the job, okay? So for example, if you get into a relationship with somebody and it's a long distance relationship and they only see you, you know, once every second month or something ridiculous like that, can they do the job? No, they, they can't do the job because they're not around. You hired someone who, to do the job who can't do the job. Hire someone who can actually do the job. Another thing, just really remember yourself. So for example, knowing yourself and how much affection you want or need in a relationship, for example. So if your affection level's up here and you get with someone down here, you're gonna feel starved, they're gonna feel smothered. Huge disconnect. Find someone with a similar level of affection as you have. If you're really into fitness, it's gonna go well if you find someone else who's into fitness. Simple stuff, but it seems like most people choose their ideal partner based on location and how pretty they are, which really is a pretty stupid way to choose someone who you wanna spend the next 50 years with if you really think about it. We need to be way more specific than that. I don't care if they live close to you. That doesn't mean anything to me. Yes, they have to live, they have to live in a certain radius of you, you have, so you can actually see them minimum once a week, but they don't have to live next street over. They can live an hour away, it doesn't matter, okay? But don't have to be an absolute 10 out of 10 knockout. They, they don't. And attraction isn't just how someone looks, it's their whole personality. They act, how they talk, their values, their integrity, what their ambition is, their dreams, their soul, the fire in their belly. Attraction covers a whole lot of different things. Someone just because they're pretty, but they got none of that other important stuff, it's not gonna work, you dream. That's gonna be stupid. The relationship was gonna be horrible after a couple of months, okay? So you gotta really make the list study the list and go after what's on the list. You can also write down a list of non-negotiables, 10 red flags that you don't wanna see. Now, the reason I'm telling you to write it down is because a lot of people let their emotions cloud their judgment, okay? And so they make silly decisions. Oh, that person's pretty, so that red flag is okay. Write it down. If they break one of the red flags, get rid of them. You're wasting your time. You should be so picky that you find someone and you have to be with them. That's how it feels, okay? That's how it feels. You're not looking for someone to be with, but when you find them, you go, I, I have to be with this person. They are so perfect and incredible in every single way, I have to be with them. That's how it should feel. If you can live without them, do it. Leave them behind.
people say, oh, I'm super picky. I go, okay, how, how many dates have you been on in the last three months? Oh, none. Well, you're not picky, you're lazy. See the difference? Don't tell me you're picky and you haven't been on any dates. That's nothing. That's like saying you're being patient and you're just watching TV. That's not patient, that's lazy. There's a big difference, okay? So it's good to be picky, but you have to have options to choose from. So, so if you're single right now and you really want to achieve your ideal partner, you want to achieve a 10 out of 10, I want you to go on a date, a first date every week consistently, every week until you find that person, okay? You may have to go on a date every week for a whole year before you meet that person. You may have to. But enjoy it. Going on dates is fun. You're having some drinks. You're having a good food. It's a good time. Very important to put yourself out there like that and do it properly. Make sure every date's high value. Okay? Make sure it's high value. If you're not putting yourself out there, you're never going to find anybody. you got to go on the dates. you got to go on dates. you got to go on high value dates. Do it properly. Have fun. You'll find them. If you need any help at all, shoot me a message. I'm here to help. Or click the link in my bio, booking a call.